about one-third of our energy is consumed by the transportation sector, which accounts for about a quarter of the total global carbon dioxide emissions. With this in mind, a transition to an electrified road transportation system should be a societal goal of utmost importance. Using electric vehicles that employ high-energy density lithium-ion batteries is a possible solution to this problem. But what is it that stops them from being used widely? Let us look at some of the best-known fully electric vehicles in the market today, and the distances that they can cover in one battery discharge, apart from being very expensive, what these cars suffer from is range anxiety. Additionally, they take hours to recharge as opposed to refueling your car at a gas station which is a matter of minutes. What we would need is high-energy density batteries that are small in size, operate reliably, and have a long cycle life. In the quest for high-energy density lithium-ion batteries, much of the focus of the research efforts has been devoted to the two active components, the anode and the cathode. However, we've ignored the elephant in the room, the electrolytes. You know, as we shrink the battery pack sizes, this is the component that leads to safety issues. The requirements on an electrolyte are quite stringent. Uh, it has to satisfy many different criteria. It has to satisfy stability criteria. It has to have desired transport properties. It must be non-toxic among several other conditions. Thus, identifying an electrolyte is about striking the right blend. Here, computational techniques can play a crucial role in the rational design of electrolytes. With this in mind, we launched the Electrolyte Genome, a collection of computational and experimental data. The genome supports natural language querying. For instance, you can query for a liquid solvent that has oxidative stability with a simple query as you would in natural language as shown here. We believe this genome will have a tremendous impact propelling electrolyte research forward.